Hey guys, uh, so I haven't done one in a couple of weeks and the last one was two and a half hours of uh, us deciding whether or not a hot dog was a sandwich. So uh, we'll go to this one. Uh, we'll leave that question alone. We don't want to start another debate. Um, <laughs> There's only one thing that's not up for debate and that it's Daniel's a fantasy loser. Well, but. not yet, like you said. He is in the last place game, but we'll get to that. Um, Are you really but, a winner if you're in the last place game? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, coming to an end, I'm going to go through kind of the first round of playoffs. Um, and then last week, and then this week, I'm going to skip a lot of the games because, honestly, a lot of them don't matter. Um, so, we'll go first – Week we had um, Christian and Max and Christian destroying Max um, one sixty eight five. Can I split my points from last week? With yeah, this? sorry, that does not happen. You can't do that. And we manager veto on that one. Um, right. Next yeah. game, um, Emery beating Connor ninety two to eighty three. Somewhat close. And then we have Wook beating Amber by a decent amount, 23, um, 149 to 126. And then Rod beating myself because my team decided to just die. Uh, 115 to 75. Yeah. And then last yeah. week, I'm just doing the winner bracket because sorry, everyone that's a loser. Um, <laughs> I'm a, I'm now a loser too, so I can say that. So the the last week's winner brackets, um, we have Anne Marie winning over Christian because Christian's team decided to die. Yep, we did. The lamb gave out, and then we have Luke beating Rod um, by a lot as well. So two blowouts, um, which comes to our championship game. We have it sure does. Luke and Amory. We can kind of go into who we think is going to win. I'm all for the Sandbergs, and Sandbergs don't lose besides this Sandberg. That Sandberg. Chris, do you know if Kirk <laughs> Cousins is playing next week? He should be, yeah. Okay. Because that will factor into who I pick for the, the championship game. I have faith in uh, my lovely wife, so she's going to win. Hmm. Yeah, that's my pick. Okay. All right. I am also <laughs> leading Amory. <clears throat> I don't know. Luke's really wide receiver heavy, to be honest, but Anne Marie has dual threat quarterback choice, which is always nice. Yeah. She has good wide receivers, too. Well, the other thing, Foreman might not be playing as much if Henry is oh, returning, yeah. which is what I'm hearing right now. And that might take away value from A.J. Brown, too. Yeah, exactly. Lamory. You got to hope Derrick Henry plays. Mm -hmm. I mean – yeah, you know, he has really good wide receivers, but – and he has the two top defenses in the league, too, to swap through. That's hard. I don't know. I'm kind of undecided on that one right now. I mean, the defenses are good, but, like, you can't expect, like, 25, 30 points. Then again, the Colts are playing Jacksonville, and Anne marie has the Colts defense. So, I mean, that's – that should, if things go – according to plan, be a nice matchup for them. A.J. Dillon will probably get a lot of game time because yeah. Patrick yeah. starters are not going to play a lot. So, yeah. You know what? I'll lean Anne Marie, too. I think she's got it. Okay, clean sweep. You know what that means? That's the opposite side. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. We'll see, won't we? Yeah. Um. I think that's pretty much it. Anyone else have anything to talk about fantasy-wise? 
A couple of uh, couple rules. I would, is, but go ahead, Christian, before I start. I would like to say that I was reamed for my choice of Josh Allen in the second round. And he is the top fantasy scorer and helped carry me to the semifinals. And that's all I have to say on that. Go Josh Allen. And I would do it again. All right. I'll hold you to that for next draft. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um, a couple of rule changes that we wanted to do for next year. And anyone who can watch can um, put their voice out there and say yay, nay or want more explanation or something. But how about hay? Can I say hay? Yeah. Hay is for horses. Or bay, like my boy, my bay Daniel over there. Um, I'll let you do that on your own time. <laughs> um, but we wanted to push the last week of the season up a week so that we don't have to deal with teams sitting players. Um, like the Packers are going to do this week, and like most teams would do, if not every team were in trying to get a playoff spot. Well, and, and oh. it's standard practice across fantasy, usually the championship yeah. ends. Like everyone's pretty much done after this past weekend. Yeah, it, exactly. And it means that the championship isn't decided by which team sits more players. So um, I, I, am in, I am in favor of changing that. All right, well, we got a whole offseason to yeah. figure out. Also, we wanted to try for the first two seeds to have a bye since they worked so hard the whole season to get an advantage. Uh, that's a good way of giving them that advantage. Uh, if anyone else has any kind of suggestions or edits or anything, uh, let me know and I'll bring it up with everyone. And uh, we'll try to make this league better every year. Um, I'll make, we'll make another video, um, after the championship, <laughs> win or lose, the Sandbergs are the best, <laughs> um, but well, hey, you got to hat the championship, so I know. we got to keep it in the family, <laughs> um, but we'll do some off season, um, videos too, just to keep you guys on your toes. <laughs> also because it's just fun I enjoy doing this but um, either you have anything else uh, no just Jorge you beat me with by one and a half points with Najee Harris so congrats I thought I had that dub damn 30. your game came down to him getting that last touchdown didn't it yeah I had a 30 something point lead and that's what happened it helped and me in my other decided league. I'm doing it for Ben. Christian wish he had that. <laughs> that 30. I just wish Nick Chubb. I just wish they actually used Nick Chubb more. I guess I heard he was injured. And they they did use Nick Chubb, but yeah, he was he was dealing with an injury the whole time. Fine, game. whatever. I just wish my team had decided not to shit a brick this week. That's really all I got to say. I am happy with my team, and we did really well. And unfortunately, we just had a bad week. So happens to us all. It does yeah. I do not – I mean, almost every single player in my in my team this week was who I drafted, so I am happy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, almost <clears throat> not so much. But, uh, yeah, everyone, don't get discouraged if you are a loser. Um, we're all losers except first place. If you're not first, you're last. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> uh, um, there's always next year. And we have fun every week yeah. doing all this stuff, win or lose. Um, love everyone in here. Thank you for a great season. We still have one week, but wanted to iterate that. But uh, thank you, you two, for doing the videos with me. Yeah, for sure. I, like I said, I enjoy this. What did you say at the – I actually didn't hear you. What did you say when I said that my draft – was who most of my players were. You said something didn't matter? No, I said Patterson. He didn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Patterson I didn't draft. I said almost. You said almost, and I said, yeah, almost. And then, yeah, Patterson. Yeah. I just didn't catch what you said. That was a very good pickup. I mean, not this week. but No, yeah, yeah. but throughout most of the season, he's been great. Yeah. I, just, you know. I, always, I thought he was just going to 
I traded him away in my other league because I didn't think he was going to do well. And well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say I made all the right decisions. I tried, I tried to trade him like three times in a league, yeah. but he would take him. So, all worked out, kind of. It did. Yeah. But, okay, we'll see you next week, guys. If you're watching, I don't know who watches this anymore, but it's not a two and a half hour one. Yeah. <laughs> We nice averaged it out this time. Yes. Okay. See you guys. But See a hot dog is a sandwich. Definitely not a sandwich. Definitely not a sandwich. <laughs>